Oh, yes, that was pretty easy. Are we ready to hook it up to the AS interface network now? Sure. However, before we do so, let's review with our viewers the three categories that make up an AS interface system. AS interface systems are made up of three main categories. First, the masters are either a gateway or a scanner card. Next are the power supplies, repeaters, or AS interface cable that make up the infrastructure. And last are the modules and sensors, which are the slaves. So Dylan, we're finally ready to connect our AS interface network up. Our arrangement consists of the following components. A Rockwell PLC, an auxiliary power supply, a AS interface power supply, and the AS interface gateway. We begin by connecting our network up as follows. Connect the AS interface power supply to the AS interface gateway. Immediately with this connection, we observe our AS interface gateway has powered up. Next, we establish a trunk with the AS interface yellow cable from the ASI1 connector on the gateway. The yellow cable will provide both power and communications to our AS interface network. Finally, we connect the yellow cable from the AS interface gateway to the G20 motor control module. Note, Dylan is using a useful tool to help provide leverage to closing the cover of the G20 module. Donius, why is there a 5A peripheral fault on the AS interface gateway and LED flashing on the G20 module? Dylan, what we failed to do is connect the peripheral power required by our G20 modules. On the data sheet of the module, we should note that 24 volt DC power is needed to power up the inputs and outputs. If either is missing, the module will report a peripheral fault. Therefore, as Dylan opens the connector and introduces the 24 volt auxiliary power to the module, we should immediately observe the error disappearing and the LEDs on the module becoming all green. 